then you know that's Axwell and Ingrosso. And this is the David Bowers Awards with yours truly and my trusty sidekick, John Bon Jovial, sitting in to make sure I sound like I know what the heck I'm doing, which I do have trouble maintaining every now and then. And, and, and right. i got to tell you, it's a hard job, too. It really is. Yes. <laughs> I know, and you do it so well. But right now, I know yes, what we're I doing. Do. We're going to go into the next song because we have a lovely young lady standing by waiting to talk with us. Her name is Alexa Chris. I know you're going to want to hear her. First, you're going to hear her song, I Believe in Love. This is Michaela, and you're listening to The David Bowers. Alexa Chris, I believe in love, and here is the lady right now. Come on in here, Alexa. How are you? Hi. Thanks for having me. Oh, our pleasure to have you, and uh, especially nice, because we don't often, uh, we, we don't get as many artists out of the, uh, you know, the, the Midwest, the heart of the country. Sure. And uh, you're, you're out of Nebraska, right? That's right. I actually just moved to Kansas City, Missouri, but I grew up in Nebraska, and um, that that's definitely my home. Yeah, and uh, 
you know, it, it's really neat to be able to bring in an artist from uh, that part of the country because, as I said, you know, most of the artists you hear about are from the East Coast, the West Coast, sure. uh, the Deep South, sometimes the Southwest. But yeah, you get into, you know, Nebraska, Iowa, into that part of the country, and you don't hear about a lot of artists. And uh, you're sure to, uh, I, I think you're going to make a, uh, you're going to make a difference in that pattern. I, I just have that feeling listening to your music. Uh, you've got a great sound, and uh, it, well, it's. You. It, you're very welcome. It's got a nice crossover appeal to it, too. Uh, while it's not country, it's not offensive to country listeners. I mean, it's uh, Absolutely. it's something that, you know, it isn't that far removed from what a lot of country artists are doing today, yet it still right. retains its pop integrity. So uh, I, I'm really impressed. It's a good sound. Well, thank now, you've you. Been in, you've been in the business for, what, 10 years now? Yeah, yeah, quite a while. I started out, um, actually, uh, I started out in traditional country music festivals and um, gospel gospel events. So that's, I'm sure that's where I get a lot of, you can hear a lot of that country influence. Um, but yeah, I started out when I was, uh, well, I want to say around 11 years old is when I started doing those types of um, festivals and getting hired out to um, play, you know, at, for my own shows. So it's, I'm 22 now, so so yep, it's been about 10 years. Wow, that is, that, and that, you're right. That does uh, that does explain the uh, country influence in your songs, and uh, it, it it's a uh, it's a good uh, it's a good influence. It it adds a nice, unique. Well, not totally unique, but it adds a, a sound to it that is definitely your own. It's not something that well, you don't you. sound like every other artist that comes down the street. And John Bon Jovi is sitting there with a big smile on his face, which usually means he's <laughs> either done something incredibly stupid or he's got something he wants to say. John, what you got? Uh, Usually it is the former, uh, but in, in this case, uh, Alexa, first of all, I want to congratulate you on a beautiful song that is so nicely put together. Oh, you're very welcome. But I do want to ask you, you know, we've uh, David has just touched on the, the country aspects of it, uh, but I also look mm -hmm. at it as a crossover song. Now, when mm -hmm. you put this, when you put this together, what were you thinking? Were you thinking you wanted to do a country song? Were you thinking you wanted to do an adult contemporary song? Or were you really trying to uh, go for a mixture of both? Or sure. was it a happy accident? Um, you know, that I would probably have to go with the happy accident. Um, I really just went into the studio. I, I write all my songs, um, just me and my guitar. So... Um, when I went into the studio, we I kind of had a few artists, you know, that I was like, oh, I love these these guys, they're they're great. I'd love to sound, you know, something like that. Um, but as we worked on the project, it just kind of it it kind of shaped itself, and um, really just I just went with you know what we were feeling in the studio. So I, I didn't have a special direction other than I did I did want it to be um, pop, you know, and. Uh, super accessible to everyone. That that was the main goal. So, I think you've succeeded in that, and I'm going to. Uh, uh, I think so. Yeah. I, I'm going to. I'm going to steal John Bon Jovial's thunder on this one. First, first I. Uh, went, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask you. You mentioned there, as a matter of fact, I think you. Uh, I think you tossed out a possible song title there right at the beginning of your answer. You said "Me and My Guitar." I think that would be a great song. But that um, is a great John song title. <laughs> John Bon Jovial always likes to know the influences on the artists, and you just mentioned the fact that you were influenced by several artists, and that mm -hmm. helped to shape your sound. Who were some of the artists that influenced you? Absolutely. Well, I have I draw a lot of my influence from just the '80s pop and rock in general. Um, I think you can hear a lot of that with the synth stuff going on um, in in a lot of the songs. Um, but I would say, you know, I've got a lot of influence from the '90s as well. Um, Alanis Morissette is a huge influence. There's people like Sheryl Crow, um, just kind of power women, really. Um, and then, you know, I, I absolutely, I went through a huge phase of um, being obsessed with the Beatles. I think most people have to go through that. Um, but, but, you know, those are some of those cool background vocals going on. Um, I think I Do has the most of that. Um, but, but, yeah, I'm kind of all over the board. So, uh, you know, when I sang the country stuff, it was Patsy Cline and, um, you know, th that, that era, too. So it, it's really all over the place. 
Well, the nice part of that is the fact that you're all over the place without sounding that way. In other words, you're all <laughs> over the place in a good way. You don't sound disoriented or like oh, you should be in a different category or something. You, you have it under control, and that's excellent, really, because Thank you me. do have what I think, and I, I, I'm, John Bon Jovial agrees with me, and I'm sure a lot of the program directors around the country would also agree, uh, you have a very definite popular crossover style. It's something that would not be out of place on a country station, a pop station, an adult contemporary station. Oh, that's uh, it's ju- just a happy, good feeling feeling on that song. I'm sure you do uh, you do some music that's heavier and probably some ballads sure. and all of that. But that uh-huh. that is just a good feeling, up tempo, happy song that you just have a smile on your face listening to it. And uh, I think oh, that's yes. great. John bon, John Bon Jovi also alluded to the beautiful sound, and I wasn't sure if he was if he was referring to the sound or the young lady who sings it, because <laughs> most oh, of the music oh. most of the music we play. Uh, we have discovered from the sound that we've heard it somewhere or we've looked for stuff online and heard something. And so we hear the music way before we ever know who the artist is or what they look oh, sure. like. But uh, I know I know that John Bon Jovi had seen your picture and said, wow, uh, if she sings as good as she looks, she's going to be great. So, uh, <laughs> oh, thank you. That's so <laughs> yeah, yes, I, 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 I did say that and... and uh, uh, and 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 I meant it. And and I, I tell you what, you do sound you sound great, Alexa. Uh, you, you do something that I've that I hear very few women in country music do, or even pop music. Uh, and it, it, in a you project your voice in a certain way. And the example that comes to mind, I'm not saying that you sound like her, but she was mm-hmm. able to project her voice to be dominant, and that was Linda Ronstadt. And um, oh, sure. Yeah, and and so the way that you project your voice reminds me of her, not on your singing style, not on your voice. Yeah. And you've got a beautiful voice, but it's completely Thank different you. from hers. But you you are uh, you're, kind of you're dominant. Yeah, you're dominant in the song, and attitudinally, you're dominant. And uh, I, I I personally I think that if you keep in this direction, you probably have a pretty nice future ahead of you. Oh, well, thank you so much. That's so kind. This this is definitely a song that if I didn't already have a free copy here, I would go out and buy. Now, before we let you go, be sure and tell everyone where they can find you online. Yeah, absolutely. Um, You can find me all all over the web. AlexaChris.com is my website. Um, You can find me on Facebook. It's just Alexa Chris. Uh, you know, Instagram. I've got a Twitter page. It's all Alexa Chris, so... And I should mention, I should mention the fact that that's Chris with two S's. We have another uh, regular artist who stops by here frequently, a lovely young lady from the Carolinas, uh, whose last name is Chris with one S. So we don't want people to get confused. Alexa, Chris with two S's. So you be sure and get out there, check her out, check out her music. We're going to play another song by her in just a moment, but you can get online and hear a lot more music by her. I think you're going to be hearing a lot more from her in the very near future. Alexa, thank you so much for coming by and spending time with us and sharing your music and story. Uh, look.